Hey guys, welcome to the next installment in this How to Speedrun No Time to Explain Remastered. In this video we'll talk about world number two, where we uh, break some blocks. So right off the bat, just like in the uh, in world one, uh, in, like, just like in world one, you want to uh, start shooting as soon as you see the white screen, instead of the black screen in, uh, in world one, but, but as soon as you see that. Just want to go to the right, and as soon as you uh, you land, you want to start shooting and just shoot this row uh, of blocks. You can do like two rows here, uh, but I prefer just doing one because it takes a short amount of time to uh, shoot one block row, and that means you can start moving uh, or using the uh, laser to propel yourself. Um, through faster uh, it's not as fast as if you blow out to like the actual movement um, and in the end I think it kind of evens out but I I think the I have a feeling <laughs> I've actually tested it but I have a feeling that just shooting out the the bottom here because you just need such short uh, burst of, uh, of speed um, and then you go through like that keep holding right and uh, shoot like at, at a diagonal to get through and uh, and yeah so in fast it will look something like this you actually start moving uh, through while shooting so you are actually at like block two um, something like this and then you go into the portal um, and if you're fast enough the uh, voices should overlap which <laughs> is a weird feeling uh, on this one, you spawn in, and uh, you can actually already start shooting. Of course, start walking right as well while shooting. Uh, and you want to shoot a roughly diagonal path uh, and avoid hitting this first one, um, just to make it a little easier and, and avoid the spikes. If you hit these spikes, you automatically reset the entire level, uh, and you don't just spawn here, which is kind of annoying and uh, loses a lot of time. So uh, yeah, just spawn in, start moving right, and shoot. And as soon as you can't shoot anymore because of the uh, of the wall or the camera needs to move, as you can see, it doesn't move until you're all the way over here. Um, so as soon as, as, as you can't shoot any further, you'll start jumping in. Do the rest of the way up. Uh, okay, you want to try and avoid this. Sometimes it, it happens, uh, but it just makes the movement a little bit more clunky. Try to get out, out here, and uh, into the portal. So in fast, it should look something like that. Not a little bad. Okay, what, let's try that again. Something like that. And into the portal. Um, here you can technically, I believe, um, do this thing to get up on this one, but it, it's very hard and very risky, uh, and usually not worth it. So, so if you get it perfectly, you can land up here. Not really worth it, just hold right, land, and just do like that to, to get onto the first platform. Um, and from there, you can go all the way into the portal, just like that. Um, on this one, you can uh, can do the th same thing where you actually jump. Oh, that good, good, uh, good example. Do like that to get up here, and use this slope to get all the way over if you uh, feel like it. So it looks something like this, and then it's just a position thing, falling down. Once you know you're falling down perfectly, you can shoot up a bit to gain a few extra frames. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And uh, and we have this one with the narrow sh shoot of, of spikes. I've seen some people go over um, in the beginning of their, what do you call it, speedrunning career. No, speedrunning, uh, their learning of this game, um, which is, is fine if you just want to get through the level and, and don't want to deal with the spikes. Uh, you also need to go over to get the, the hat for 100%, but... It's actually not as bad. Uh, getting through without hitting the spikes is extremely hard and very uh, hawk moment if, if you do it the first try. 
Um, and I very rarely do. But what you can do instead is, is you spawn in here, land rough, roughly around here, and then try to go through because then you can uh, use the invi what's it called invincibility frames to get through uh, in that amount of time. So land here, hit the spikes, that's fine, and then just go through because uh, the iframes will keep you safe even all the way down here if you're uh, fast enough. Um, so yeah, it's just learning learning the angle after hitting the first spikes, which isn't too hard. It's, it's more or less just like straight left, uh, and then you can adjust a little bit based on your trajectory. Um, and once in a blue moon, you can be lucky to do that, where you get through uh, without hitting the spikes, which is obviously faster. But also not something you uh, should beat yourself up over if you don't get it. Uh, yeah, into the portal. And this is the last uh, last level in the world too. Uh, you can go. The, the intended way is to go down below here. Nobody does that because that's just a waste of time uh, and actually not that easy to do because you need to break the, the blocks kind of specifically uh, in specific ways to. Make sure you have enough height to get up here. Um, but what everybody does is do the 100% uh, round, go up here, shoot down, and get up. It, it's it's really really that simple. Um, there's normally a hat up here. I ha I'm playing on a complete save file, so there's no hat. Um, go over and into the portal. And uh, yeah, that was it for the. Uh, Block Breaking World, World 2, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.